I'm Erica Lopez with the E Block, and today is for my theater fans. We are chatting with one of the stars of DCPA's newest musical, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. Let's welcome Marcus Paul James, who plays Otis Williams. Marcus, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me this morning. Of course. So you've been in Motown, In the Heights, couple of my favorites, and Rent. Tell me what you think sets this show apart. I mean, first of all, it's talking about the temptations, you know, and uh, in history, I've learned that like the temptations were the American almost rival to the to the um, to the Beatles. So that's how big this group was during at a time that you wouldn't have imagined it to be. And coming out of the machine called Motown that will have that will change the music of America for forever. I cannot wait to see it, Marcus. We got to talk about the choreography because I know it's Tony winning. What I want to ask you personally, was it tougher learning the steps or the music? Um, I would say definitely the steps. Sergio Trujillo, our um, award-winning choreographer, um, really wanted to you know, start with what the temps did because they were so slick and so smooth and then kind of elevate it to what it would be to be that slick and smooth now. So we definitely have up the steps and up the games, but I would say the, the steps are for, were what took more practice because the music, we all loved it. And like, you know me, and I get asked sometimes if I knew the music, but I was like, my mother played it every Saturday when we were cleaning the house. So it was not new to me. I had heard it a thousand times. So it's been like an honor to actually put it on my lips and sing it. <laughs> Absolutely. I think all of us are so looking forward to that. We're all going to be just quietly singing along or mouthing along to all the songs. But I have to <laughs> talk about you playing Otis. He's the last founding member alive of The Temptations. What does it mean to you to get to play him? Um, it is an honor to play not only just a legend, but a living legend. And I would never understand what it means to have a 60 year music career and still be living to tell about it. But I try my best to kind of step into the likeness of him. And we talk to him all the time. We call him Uncle O, but he's Dr. Otis. Um, but uh, but he is a well of stories, a well of information. So to sit and hear all those things and then be able to to um, infuse that into the play has been like probably a highlight of my life. That's incredible, Marcus. I can't thank you enough for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Can we see you there? Absolutely. And you all can see Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations, Tuesday, October 25th. It's going to run through November 6th at the Buell Theater. Get your tickets right now at denvercenter.org. In the studio, Erica Lopez, 9 News.